Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and in today's video, I'll be giving you guys some more tips on how to catch some salmon in harbors, piers, lakes, beaches, and rivers. Before I get into that though, I want to mention my guide service again. It's $250 for one person and $50 per additional anglers. I will be having lake trout trips coming up soon. They were very successful last year. So if you want to get on some fish, you can text my number 586-719-8935 for the fastest response. I run my lake trout trips from December 10th all the way through December 31st, including holidays. So if you don't have very many days free and you're free on the holidays, send me a message and we'll get you on some fish. As you can see right here, I have lots of spoons. They work really good. I actually use sometimes an ounce and a quarter in harbors, piers, beaches. This is a very big lure, but it will still catch you fish. In rivers, I generally throw a smaller lure, especially when there's a hook size restriction, like the two fifth ounce. These work very good in rivers. Attaching a fluorocarbon leader will definitely help your success in rivers. The silver with blue chrome and four red dots is a great color. The KO Wobbler is also a great spoon I've been using lately. Green and silver is good. Blue, silver, red, gold. There's some white colors that do okay. The green and white color is another good color to use. And sometimes I'll throw a fire tiger, I'll throw black and white, an orange and white. I'll throw tons of different colors. So it's really important to have every color because you never know what they're going to want to bite that day. For nighttime fishing, I like to use the moonshine spoons. They light up very well. They last a long time. Sometimes you buy glow-in-the-dark spoons and they only last you two or three casts. It can be very annoying. These things last about maybe 15 casts before you have to recharge them up. You can cast these things super far and they're just a really good lure to use if you plan a nighttime fish. Another good color to have is the yellow and orange. For some reason, wherever I go, this color scheme normally works very well. So I travel all over Michigan and I will always have one of these in my tackle box. They also work great for pike too, so you can get bonus catches. The rainbow trout color I've caught a variety of pike on as well as some trout. The next thing I wanna mention guys is winter gloves. They're very important when fishing. It helps you fish longer. These are made by Runkle. They're great. They get fish smelly. I throw them in the washing machine and they're like brand new right out of the dryer. They keep your hands nice and warm and they're comfortable to fish in. Highly recommend picking these up. When I use a fluorocarbon leader for salmon, I use STS Salmon 100% fluorocarbon Seeger in a 20 pound test. In today's video, I'm using my Runkle Rushmore 3000 spinning reel. It's got 30 pound Power Pro braid. I'm then running a barrel swivel to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader that's about seven foot long. And for the lure today, I'm using a three quarter ounce little Clio that's in the orange and white color. The coho! Ah, I scared him. When I plan to go salmon fishing, I generally fish for quite a few hours. However, sometimes, like in this video, I have caught the fish on the first cast. This has only happened to me about three times per year while fishing harbors, piers, rivers for salmon. One thing that I personally do is I check the drag system every time I go out right before I cast. This was very helpful today since I hooked a fish the very first cast. When salmon generally hit a lure, they take off like a rocket. So make sure your drag is set accordingly. That one, that one, that one, that one. First cast. Oh, look at that. Here, get to that. It's coming in. Woo, what is that? Woo, welcome to the show. Hooking a salmon on the first cast doesn't happen very often, so when it does happen, it's a great feeling. While fishing with these little Cleos, you can see that normally all three points of the treble hook are inside the mouth. These lures help your hook up to land ratio just because of the treble hooks. It allows the fish to stay hooked very easily, especially since they like to head shake a lot. Once you hook these salmon, you will want to try to retrieve them in as fast as possible. Since salmon are known for jumping, it's an easy way for the fish to shake you off. Generally, if you retrieve these fish in very slowly, that's when they will start to jump like crazy. Retrieving them super fast, they normally don't jump at all. A lot of people always ask me, what are the conditions I look for before I go out salmon fishing? And I'll be honest with you guys, the only condition I actually look at is the wind. I find that the wind is the biggest factor in catching these fish and for the fish to be inside the harbors. Salmon fishing in harbors can be very successful. You can catch lots of fish and you can see a lot of fishing action. So you guys just got to get out there, keep going. Even if you get the skunk, keep going. That's the only way you guys are going to get on fish. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, 
nice. Oh, almost. Come on. Yeah. While fishing the harbors, I noticed that using very large lures works very well for large fish. However, if you use a smaller size lure, you have the potential of catching both the smaller size salmon as well as the large size salmon. Size 2, 3, and 4 spinners seem to work the best for me. The little Cleos, the 3 quarter ounce, 2 fifth ounce, or the 1 and 1 quarter ounce works great. I generally only get the smaller fish though on the 2 fifth ounce. On cloudy days like today, I normally am always throwing bright, vibrant colors like these oranges and blues and whites. This color is also great to use when the water is highly stained due to high wind. My next best recommendation is to bring a lot more gear than you think you will need. If you're having a very slow day, sometimes having just a different lure that no one else has thrown all day will give you that fish. For that reason, that is why I run the Quick Snap Barrel Swivel or just a Quick Snap. It allows you to easily change out lures and it saves you a lot of time tying up. Bobber down! <laughs> oh, he wasn't going nowhere. He got all three of them in him. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it'll help you catch salmon in the future in lakes, harbors, piers, and rivers. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, and let me know what you guys will want to see in the future. I actually do plan on upgrading some of my camera gear soon. I'm going to try to work on getting some camera gear that allows me to cut out the wind noise in the background for you guys, as well as getting some light modifications for my GoPros in order to film better in the dark videos. I plan to do nighttime fishing in the dark with some glow spoons for salmon, steeled, and lake trout on the piers. So I hope you guys will enjoy that content. And if you guys want to book a trip, let me know, send me a message, and we'll get you on some fish. Have a great day, guys.